Every time I play with stereotypes, I just kill them. I just don't know. That can go the other way around. That's bullshit. From the get-go, I knew I wanted to work with non-professional person. I was looking for a very, very specific look um, that was obviously androgynous. You're looking for potential and you're looking for someone you actually crave to film. I have a character that I've always thought she has no contours. Like she's not channeled, she's not finite. She's like this kind of like, you know, vapid somehow uh, being. And she's only driven by impulses. And so impulses overflow from her in every direction in a very chaotic way because she's never been looked at. So she has no contour. She cannot be, you know, defined in some way because no one defines her. I thought I should try to put love at the center of a story, um, knowing that I would probably fail. Um, <laughs> it's hard to talk about love for me. I mean, for a lot of people, it comes very naturally. And some, but I have this kind of shyness towards this feeling that I believe is so transcending, you know, everything. And that I, um, I think is so rare that I did not want to put words on it, you know. Well, no one told me about her, the way she lied. I know I'm telling a story that is very, very far-fetched and that borderline sci-fi. Well, I'm creating my own world, but I want, to, I want this distance to disappear. I want you to be completely immersed in my world and in their shoes. Um, and so the more extravagant, if you want, the situation is, the more uh, realistic my references are going to be. We add an edge, we add an, a strangeness and uncanny uh, to that, that, that it's going to make you feel at home in, you know, in terms of what you recognize and at the same time puts you off track. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.